Well, I'll fire it as rock the riff. I'm back for another metal head in me and back with some more or orbit culture. And uh, finally checking out Flight of, Flight of the Fireflies, if I can speak today. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I still think Carvings is my favorite song I've heard from them so far, but I'm excited to hear this. So let's dive on in. Hell yeah. Once again, Orbit Culture's tone is fucking killer. I don't know what they're using, but it sounds fantastic. Especially being mixed, mastered, and all the studio workings and everything. Uh, I'm curious where this dissonant note is going to run. that was I was gonna say though I don't know if it's like for me musically this sounds like a pirate theme or something like that I mean maybe because I saw the gold coins and the parchment and all that it just made me think of it plus the background here it's like they're in the bottom of a damn ship or something I don't know maybe I'm crazy in that one can't figure that out. section of the song i mean the drummer is going to town that dude is fucking i just like the the wall of force just fucking rolling down it's like a spike wall just looping at you <laughs> i mean just and that little sound effect that was added to that section it was like uh I don't know it's it's kind of like in horror movies how the music will like build the anticipation and everything i thought the sound effect peppered through this was doing that same effect just making it more intense I love 
love that fucking drum fill right there. That was pretty slick. But that section's already intense, and then that extra. Uh, I don't even know. There's two two effects so far I've heard that I'm like. I mean, I know every sound in the world could be played on a synth if it's programmed or whatever the hell that whatever the hell goes into that. But like, uh, I am digging this track a lot. I'm liking. To me, Flight of the Fly Fireflies compared to some other Orbit Culture songs I've heard is going. It's like, it's pretty progressive. I can hear that riff. I do feel like I don't know the chorus of this track isn't hitting home for me. It's a little too uh, it's a little too uplifting for my personal taste. <laughs> I mean, I know it's intense. I know it's distorted and all that. It's just uh, I think I like the verses and then the more greedy low down sections of this track a lot more that rip is slick Yeah, I like this right there. <laughs> ah. See, to me, that section of the song should have been the longer part instead of extending that chorus. But that's all personal preference. It's not like any part of the song is bad. It's just, I like, I mean, this is the most replayed part. So apparently me along with a lot of other motherfucking people like this part a lot. Fuck it. I think that is so cool, the little barrel. <laughs> it's like, I don't know, my band, when we did our first record, there's only one song on it that had a bass drop. And it's our opening interlude that me and the engineer made together basically the rest of the band went home for the day and me and the engineer sat around and made the opening uh interlude and we were just like chunking out a low b and he was like let me add some bass drops right here and it's like well like that shit cracks me up i would do that more often in my own music if i could figure out how to do that live but uh this last little part is definitely my favorite section of this track. Four horns all the way, though. I mean, 
Orbit Culture is definitely one of those bands that I'm like, I want to love them. I want to dive deep into them. <laughs> and every song I've heard from them, I, I enjoy. The only thing is like in my case where I listen to Gojira a lot, I kind of get this style of heavy metal, hard rock, whatever the hell you want to call it from them. But at the same time, Orbit Culture is starting to really give them a run for their money. Because Orbit Culture's guitar tones and stuff, I really dig. I like I like a modern uh, tone. And then at the same time, all three of the guitars, I want this dude's guitar. Well, I don't want an Epiphone. If that's what that is. I want an Explorer model, but just not an Epiphone Explorer model. And then uh, the Solar Flying V. If I could get a good shot of it. Some of my, 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 my bitch. I thought that was it. There we go. I want that guitar. I at least want to try one out. I have yet to have my hands on a Solar. Or solar, however the fuck you say that. I, hope I say solar. Uh, and then the Dingwall bass. That shit, I wouldn't mind having a bass like that. Especially now where my bass player uh, left the band. And uh, me and my guitarist are doing the bass lines when we record. It'd be nice to have a badass Dingwall to uh, play with. Uh, I already gave it a rating. Four horns for sure, I think. Yeah. I dig this track. I still think Carvings. I don't know why that song is still my favorite. But I will say Flight of the Flyerfies definitely gives Carvings a, a run for its money. Uh, in my case, if this was a darker song throughout, I think I would dig it more. I do like the fact that Orbit Culture, like, to me, their pacing was a little different than normal. I mean, just from what I've listened to and what I think of Orbit Culture, I'm like, uh, it's definitely going to be a main chugging riff line, like cha 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 I'm almost start to change it up just a hair and everything, but they are badass, and I definitely like like their outfits and whatever how they're dressed is how I dress normally, and the fact that even though they're shooting these music videos, they're not putting on. I don't know. I mean, costumes are cool as fuck. My music video I'm about to shoot this weekend, we're wearing cardboard night suits, but uh. I guess when I see how they're dressed in the music video, I'm like, oh, these dudes would be cool as fuck to have a beer with. Like, uh, party with them and fucking pick their brains about how they write music. Because I, I think that does interest me the most about Orbit Culture is how, uh, how they write. I think, uh, in my sense, I have a way that I write. And so when I check out all these other bands here on YouTube, I'm drawing influence. But at the same time, like, I don't even know how to word that. It's like, like, I'm always going to write the way I write just because when I have a guitar in my hands, that's how I play. But I definitely am curious how these dudes think of riffs compared to how I think of riffs and everything. If that makes any sense, who knows? I'm fucking stupid. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I dig this song. I think it's a, it's a killer track. Uh, and, uh, if this is your first time to my channel, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what y'all's thoughts are. Give me some more band suggestions to check out. And, uh, yeah. So stay positive, stay rocking, and I'll catch y'all in the next one.